Now we turn our attention, my friends, to knockout of the year. Who doesn't like a great knockout, right? Everyone loves that. You always kind of wish that a fight ends in a knockout secretly, deep down. Perhaps. Maybe you're one of those. Anyhow, so many great knockouts this year. Here's a closer look at what we saw. Throw another big shot. Oh, nice body kick. One more flurry. Oh, wow! It was an elbow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What wow. an elbow from Yair Rodriguez. From our angle, guys, I don't mean to have dismissed anything Yair just did because that is unbelievable. Wow, I was wrong. Well, at the buzzer. Wow. At the buzzer. Nice by Brian Ortega. Do you believe what we just saw? Oh! Leona Machida with the stutter! Yet another highlight reel knockout for the Dragon. Shades of Anderson Silva back in 2011. Leono the Dragon Machida is back. Favorite part of that Machida knockout, by the way, is the way he stands over Belfort afterwards. Unbelievable stuff. Three great choices, some more that I have to mention. Amanda Nunes just knocking out Chris Cyborg. First time in Cyborg's career that she's knocked out. Yoel Romero's knockout of Luke Rockhold back in February. Of course, Marlon Moraes with the head kick KO against Jimmy Rivera in June. And who could forget Nico Price with the hammer fist KO from his back against Randy Brown. All very good choices, but we had to go with the first one that you saw. Historic in many respects. The latest knockout in UFC history, 459 of the fifth round on the 25th anniversary show. Just a couple of months ago, Yair Rodriguez losing the fight. Bates, Korean zombie, into rushing him with 10 seconds left, and then he knocks him out. With the upwards elbow, I can't see enough of that knockout. One of the greatest knockouts, not only this year, the greatest, arguably the greatest of all time in the history of the sport.